welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to buy the Boda token using Trust Wallet and Pancake Swap. I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how to purchase BNB on Binance, transfer it over to your smart chain wallet on Trust Wallet, and then converting that into the Boda token. I'd like to just let you guys know as well that I do have lots of cryptocurrency tutorials coming out on my channel showing you guys how to buy, how to sell, and lots more. So if you guys are interested in the cryptocurrency space, I really recommend subscribing to this channel as I'll have lots of content coming out in the future to help you guys out. Anyhow, just stay tuned and I'll show you guys exactly how to buy the Boda token. So the first step that you guys want to do is you guys want to download Trust Wallet from the App Store. So just head over to the App Store and type in Trust Wallet. So you're going to head over here, search, then just search for Trust Wallet. And it'll just be this first one right here, Trusts, and then the Crypto and Bitcoin Wallet. So you just want to download that first. Then obviously you want to make sure that you have Binance or Coinbase or an exchange of some sort. Uh, and then create accounts on Binance, which is pretty straightforward. Most of you guys probably already have that or at an exchange that you guys at least have access to. Uh, so I'll just leave that as it is. So just make sure you guys download the Trust Wallet first. Uh, once you guys do that, you can exit out of here and open up Trust Wallet. You'll then be greeted with this right here to create a new wallet. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on Create a New Wallet. And then it's going to let you know here that you have to back up your wallet now. And you will see 12 words that allows you to recover your wallet in the next step. So you just got to click on the bottom here that I understand that if I lose the recovery words, I will not be able to access my wallet. So it's very, very important that you guys do not lose these words or else you will lose access to your wallet. And I do not recommend taking a screenshot either. I recommend just writing it down on a piece of paper and putting it in a safe place. Uh, anyhow, you just want to click on I understand for that and then continue. Then here is your 12 words that you cannot show anyone or anything like that. I'm obviously not going to use this account. That's why I'm okay showing it. Uh, but these are the words that you guys want to write down and keep them in a safe place or else you could lose all your cryptocurrencies that you have in your wallet. Very, very important. Uh, anyhow, once you're done writing this stuff down, you can click on continue. And then you have to put the words in here to verify the recovery phrase. So just make sure you guys go ahead and do that. And then once you guys put those words in and in the right order, you will see this message here that your wallet was successfully created. That's exactly what you want to see. So you just want to go ahead and click on, on OK here. And then what you guys want to do next is you want to transfer over BNB or Smart Chain here. So you're going to have to go to an exchange that you either can purchase BNB or Smart Chain or you already have some in. So I'm just going to show you guys Binance, for example. So we're just going to exit out of here and head over to Binance Exchange. And what you guys want to do on here is you want to either purchase BNB or uh, you could trade it from another crypto into it. So uh, if you guys don't have anything in here yet, you guys first want to obviously create an account on Binance, but I'm going to assume you guys have already done that. Uh, so once you guys are done doing that, you just want to go to a deposit option here. So whether it's a bank transfer or a Visa or MasterCard, you can go ahead and click on that. Once you guys are in here, you guys can just go over to where it says buy. And you just want to switch this over to BNB. And then you just want to choose the amount from your native currency that you guys want to transfer into uh, BNB. So let's just say if I wanted to do $500, I can type in $500 and then it will give me 0.73 BNB. Now, if you're okay with this, you can just click on continue at the bottom and then it will go into your Binance wallet. Now to withdraw your BNB, you just want to go over to the bottom right corner where it says wallets. Click on that. Then you just want to scroll down until you find BNB. Once you guys find BNB here, you just want to go ahead and click on it. Then you want to click on withdraw. What you guys want to do now is you guys want to exit out and back over to your trust wallet. Click on the smart chain. And then you want to click on receive, copy. And this was going to copy the address for the trust wallet. Now you're going to want to put the BNB into the smart chain because it's going to be a lot easier just to quickly transfer it into the coin that you guys are looking for. Uh, so yeah, just transfer the BNB over to the smart chain just like I did here. So you just want to back out of here back over to Binance and then you want to click on address and paste that address right here. Now I already have it in my whitelist so I can just click on it but you guys are just going to want to paste it up at the very top there. Uh, now what you guys want to do is you guys want to click on network and just make sure it is on the BEP20 right here that mine is on. You just want to click on confirm for that and then you want to click on the amount that you want to transfer. So if you want to transfer all of your BNB just click on max or you can click on the amount that you want to type in and just type in the amount that you want. Once you guys do that, you just want to click on withdraw at the bottom here. Once you guys click on withdraw, it should only take about a couple minutes to go over to your trust wallet. So we'll just give that a couple minutes and then you just want to head back over to your trust wallet. And, and once you guys have your BNB in your smart chain wallet on trust wallet, whether you guys purchased your BNB from Binance or another exchange, or if you guys just purchased BNB and trust wallet, you just want to ensure that your BNB is in your smart chain wallet and not in your BNB wallet. Now, if you do have BNB in your BNB wallet and you want to swap it over to the smart chain, all you guys have to do is click on BNB, 
click on the little more option here, and then click on swap to smart chain at the bottom. You do have to have it in your smart chain or else it will not show up in pancake swap. So just be aware of that. Uh, but the first thing that you guys have to do once we're on here is you guys do have to add the token to Trust Wallet. And to do that, I'll have a link over to the BSC scan page for us to copy the contract address and paste it into our Trust Wallets. So if you guys just go to the first link I have in the description or in the comment section down below, uh, it'll bring you over to BSC scan. And what we're going to do on BSC scan is we're going to scroll down and find where the contract address is. Now, if you guys are having trouble finding the contract address here, they do have it at the top of the screen right here. Uh, sometimes if you, if you scroll down, it is down here, but you just wanna make sure you copy the contract address. So for this specific coin, it's at the very top here. So what we're gonna do is just click on this little copy button right here. Once we click on copy, we can go ahead and back out into our trust wallet. And then we wanna go up to the top right of the screen where we see those little two lines and two circles. Click on that, click on the search and just paste this contract address up in the search. We will then see the BOTA token pop up here. So we can just go ahead and click on enable and then click on done. Once we do that, we do have to add the browser to the bottom of our screens. If you guys already have the browser, you guys can skip ahead here. But if you guys don't have the browser, you just have to go to the second link I have in the description. And basically what that link is gonna be to is to the support page for Trust Wallet. And what you have to do is you have to scroll down, click on this little link in step one. It's gonna open up a pop-up showing you that you have to open it up in Trust Wallet. And then it will add the browser to the bottom of your screen. So just make sure you guys have that and you should be good to go here. Uh, but what you guys want to do now is click on browser, click on pancake swap. Now, if this is your first time on pancake swap, you will have to connect your wallet. So I'll have a little red circle around the connect button at the top. And you guys have to click on connect and then click on trust wallet. After you guys do that, it will then connect your wallet and you will see your wallet address up in the top of the screen. Now, uh, as long as you have your BNB in your smart chain wallet, you should see a little balance here on the exchange portion. And like I said before, if you guys don't see a balance here and you do have BNB in Trust Wallet, just make sure it's in your smart chain and then you will see your balance here once you connect your wallets. Uh, but what we have to do now is we have to click on select a currency and you wanna paste that same address that we got over from BSC scan in here as well. And we will see the BOTA token pop up here. So we can just click on import and then click on I understand. This here is just letting us know that there can be fake tokens and fake projects. So just be aware of that and make sure you get uh, the contract address from a reliable source. Uh, but that is all that is warning you about there. But you can just click on I understand and then click on import. Now, what you guys want to do is make sure your slippage tolerance is on 12%. Uh, so to change your slippage tolerance, you just want to go up to beside where it says exchange. I'll have a little red circle around these three lines here. You just want to go ahead and click on that and just change your slippage tolerance right here to 12%. Once you guys do that, you are good to go and we can decide how much BNB that we want to transfer over into the BOTO token. So for example, if I wanted to do 0 0.2 BNB, I could type in 0 0.2 BNB and it will then show me the exchange rate I will get for the BOTA token. Uh, now, if you're happy with this, you can go ahead and click on where it says insufficient BNB balance for me. Just tell you here to swap or confirm for swap. And then once you guys click on that, it's going to show you a more broken down version of your transaction, showing you your withdrawal fees and your rates and things like that. So if you guys are happy with that, you can go ahead and click on confirm or swap. And then it will then tell you your transaction was successful. And we could exit out of here, go back over to our wallets, and our BOTA token will arrive in our wallets usually within a couple minutes. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to get the BOTA token using Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. This video did help you out. Be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.